Hi guys, good afternoon. Um, you know, I really felt an urgency to come on to this live stream, um, specifically for the group of the remnant. Um, the Lord told me to get on and to encourage the remnant. You know who you are. You know if you are the remnant or if you're not the remnant. Um, you know that you were chosen, that you are a sent one. Um, and, you know, the Lord released to me that the remnant would come on, that the remnant will join the broadcast. The ones that need to join will join. And um, thank you, Lord. I'm just arrested by the anointing this morning. It's, very, it's been very heavy for me, and I, I want to encourage the remnant. I feel a burden of the Lord to encourage the remnant, um, specifically to encourage the remnant. Uh, I've been carrying the remnant uh, in, the, in the depths of my belly these last few days. Um, and I have a word of the Lord for the remnant, and I really feel strong that there's a healing oil upon the remnant, that there is an endurance oil upon the remnant, that there is a hope coming over like a wave upon the remnant, that there is an encouragement coming upon the endurance and the perseverance of the remnant. I have felt like the remnant, the true remnant, not the ones that are walking around, running around saying that they're the remnant, the pretenders, you know, pretending that they are the remnant when they are not marked as the remnant. But I'm talking that you undeniably know that you were marked You've been marked by fire. You've been marked as the remnant. You've been set apart since you were born, since the foundations of the earth. You knew that the Lord has set you apart. I am talking to that remnant. I am talking to the remnant that has been in the processes of the fire and the cave and battling the giants of the land. I am talking about that remnant. That is who the Lord is touching. That is who Jesus Christ, the Messiah, is touching on this live stream. And... He specifically told me that his hand was coming upon the remnant to touch, to heal, to restore in the in the in the era, in the area of endurance and of perseverance. Because I have felt that the remnant has felt isolated. I felt that the remnant has felt has felt isolated and, and, and almost cornered in the land of seemingly impossible giants. When the remnant goes on to take five steps forward towards the sent mission, towards the sent call that, that, that the giants in the land has been on unprecedented levels. I'm talking wall after wall after wall. And these walls have come to, ta to, to, to tear down your endurance. These walls have, have come to tire you out. These walls have come to, to, to purposely, with an intention, to tire you out. And it's been limit after limit after limit after limit after limit. And these walls and giants in the land, every time you go to pursue the assignment, every time you pursue to be sent, with you, you got the ammo on your right hand side and you were walking and plowing. And the minute you go to take the territory and the assignment, another assignment comes to counteract and you've got warfare upon that assignment. And you almost have to battle through prayer and fasting to overcome that next mountain. And then that next mountain. And then that, ne that next mountain. And then there's been mountain after mountain after mountain. Wall after wall after wall. And you felt alone. You felt completely alone. The remnant, the chosen remnant, has felt completely in solitude, in, in, in utter, complete wilderness, caves, whatever you want to call it, in the desert even. And you have been traveling this land for quite some time. You have been traveling this season, going around, and you, you're, you're, you're so chosen that, that the soldier in you has not buckled. That the soldier inside of you has not buckled not one time because there's an overcomer spirit on the inside of you. The remnant does not give in easy. The remnant is a natural born fighter. The remnant is a natural born overcomer. No matter how many times something tries to tire you out, you get up. You, you get up even if you're dragging your, your right leg behind. You immediately get up and you declare and you decree. And there's a fire upon your prayer life. There's a fire upon your intercession. There's a fire upon your go-getter. There, there, there is a fire because you are the remnant. 
You are a natural born warrior. It's in your DNA. It's in your bloodline. It, it, you cannot separate it. it. You are just flat out chosen. You are a flat out chosen remnant. You have a natural born fire that runs through your veins that says, I will not be defeated. I will not quit. And somehow you muster up another, another level of strength through the grace of God that somehow subdues you in your weakness and he becomes your strength in your weakness. And sometimes, and somehow you get up again and again and again and again and again and again. But somehow it's still been mountain after mountain after mountain. And your reality has somehow convinced you that you're never going to get over these mountains and these walls that keep, keep trying to come at you for years, for years. But I am here to tell you I am here to tell you, dear remnant, it has been a bracket between three to five years that you have been in a battle, that you have been in a battle in the war of the heavenlies. You have been in a battle with resistance and mountains and opposition and the giants of the land for three to five years, if not longer. But the fighter and the remnant and the warrior on the inside of you, of you has not allowed you to buckle. It has not allowed you to throw in the towel. Though in your mind you, says, Man, you say, my God, I am tired. My faith, my faith is a little tired. Though I believe in the promised land. Though I can see and declare and decree the promise. My endurance is tired. And I don't know how much longer I can seem to fight the seen with the unseen. Come on, somebody. You've been having to fight the seen with the unseen. You've been having to fight your circumstances with the unseen realm. And somehow the tiredness and the fatigue has come to wear you out to make you counteract your faith, your gift of faith. Because every remnant has the gift of faith. Every chosen, spotless, set apart chosen one has a gift of faith. You have the gift of faith in you. And that is what has carried you along the wilderness trail, the, 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 the seemingly dry desert, because you have been relentless in your pursuit, but nothing has been relentless in pursuing you and helping you and encouraging and affirming you. And somehow it has just been you and the Lord and the spirit of the living God that has somehow been your strength, your grace, your sufficiency, your anchor. But my God, I feel the anointing of God coming upon this live stream and it is a wave of healing upon the remnant. It is a wave of healing where we would gather on this broadcast together because the Lord says no one else would join this live stream but the remnant. And he wanted you to look at that number above and show you that you are not alone, that there are over 87 to 90 other remnants that are in the same, in the same, uh, uh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. In the same terrain as you. That you are not alone, but that there are other warriors, others, other, other fractions and percentage of remnants that are walking the same trails as you as you prepare the way of the Lord. And he wanted you to see on this live stream that number one, you're not alone. Number two, there are others. There are others out there and you will join. You will join. You will join as a tribe. You will begin to cross pollinate. You, you, there, there is coming an hour and we are upon that unprecedented hour. There is coming an hour where we will gather. There is coming an, an hour where the Lord will begin to gather the remnant from the north, the south, the east, and the west supernaturally. There will begin to be divine collisions. There will begin to be a divine collision of the gatherers of the few, of the few laborers that are left in the earth, the very few, because I'm trying to tell you something right now. The remnant is not the entire church. It should be. It should be. But it is not. It is not. You take, you take the 90% of the church and the remnant might be 10%. That's how obsolete and few they are. This is the few wheat and tares that go on the threshing floor and begin to knock on the wells for, for regions, cities, and nations and for, and for a, a, a generation. The, this remnant is carrying a generation and, and a cry of these generations inside of their belly. And that's why the burden has been unbearable. That's why you seem to walk and the mantle is so heavy. Because not only are you carrying the mantle to plow, but you are also carrying an entire multitude of a generation where you will preach and prophesy and declare the word of the Lord to a nation. You are carrying the restoration and the repairer of the breach within your mouth. 
and the seemingly tattered road and the seemingly road less traveled that no one can possibly understand. You have been walking. You, you have been walking. You have been traveling. No one has been alongside you to begin to understand the level of what's happening on the inside of you. And there are, there are weights. There is a weightiness to a, to a degree that even your mind, your own mind cannot comprehend the groans, the groans and the birthing pains and the pushing and the crying out of your soul in agony and in anguish in the, in the secret place unto the Lord where words cannot utter the groans. Where words cannot even fathom the groans, the groans of your soul, the groans of your soul, and, and the groans of your heart crying out the deep, calling out unto deep, because you know that there's so much more. You know that there's so much more than the paradigm that the church has depicted. You know that there is so much more, and you know that you are a forerunner in that more. But these giants have been insane. These giants have come to taunt you and have tried to get you to, 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 Forfeit. But you will not forfeit. I'm here to tell you today, you will not forfeit. There is a holy oil coming upon you right now. There is a holy oil coming upon you right now, upon your leadership and upon your vision. I speak and I prophesy the oil and the anointing upon your vision. I speak restoration over your vision over the eyes of your heart right now, over the eyes of your heart right I want you to close your eyes. I do not want you to look at me. I do not want you to even be in tune in any hype of a broadcast, but I want you to close your eyes and I want you to receive the presence of the Messiah that is here and now on this broadcast. Because Jesus the shepherd is here giving you a new deposit. He is here touching your heart, touching your eyes, touching your soul, and touching and pouring out over your mind right now. And loneliness is being defeated right now. The stings, the stings of those spiritual bees in the spirit realm that, 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 that has been demonic bees that would try to come and sting your heart and sting your spirit and sting the warrior spirit and the overcomer spirit. Those bees, I see a holy pesticide right now and it's a fire. It's a fire coming to burn those demonic bees in the spirit realm that has tried to sting your heart Sting your soul and sting your strength. I just feel that there's just been a sting on the warrior remnant. There's just been a sting, this underlining sting down deep, down deep in your deep. Something's been stinging you. But I just speak right now the healing oil, the healing oil, the healing oil upon the, 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 those witchcraft stings, those assignments of stings in the spirit, those things you can't see but you feel, those things you can't see but, but you feel down deep in your sensitivity, down deep in your sensitivity. I just speak the healing oil begin to be, be manifested on your soul and your spirit right now. A fresh fire will begin to come up from underneath you and begin to infill you, begin to infill you, begin to infill you. I feel the heat of the fire of God right now rolling up. It's coming up as a rolling wave, as a rolling wave from the soles of your feet to the top of your head. There is a fresh fire coming upon you, dear remnant. And the, the Lord, the Lord is calling you, dear remnant, dear beloved remnant. There is such, such a set apart love such a set apart love, such a, such a, I'm not going to say uh, favorite because that, not, that might not be fair, but there is such a set apart love upon the remnant because you are the one that gave him your yes. You are the one that gave him your yes. You are the one that, that paid the cost. You are the one that gave the full blown sacrifice for the sake of his, 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 ordained life, he, your scroll, the, what he wrote on your book, you are the one that denied everything to say yes to the call, to forsake everything else. So there, there is a there is a holy set apart love for his set apart remnant. And I just feel right now that there is that love that is coming to roll over you. That there is a love that is coming to roll over over you that you would know that you would know that you would know that you would know that you are seen you are, you you are heard and that and that this love this love is coming in over you like a tidal wave 
This love is coming in over you like a tidal wave because you have not been forgotten. You have not been forgotten. And though though there are days where you feel like the Lord forgotten your sacrifice, I'm here to tell you now nothing was in vain. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. Ask me how I know. Okay? But the Lord has not, he has not, he has not overlooked, he has not to overlooked your, your laboring in the field. He has not overlooked you. But what you thought you were being prepared for is so much greater, is so much greater than what your eyes have currently seen. There is such a level of your vision that has not unfolded yet. And there's coming a day where it will begin to make complete sense. Hear me. There's coming a day where the full manifestation will begin to make sense to everything. Every war that you battled. Every giant that you overtook. Every crazy demonic entity and demonic principality that has been against you will begin to make sense in the level that you are brought to and the level and the vision that you are shifted into know this day know this day know this day that you are being infilled with a new strength know this day that you are being filled with a fresh endurance know this day Count it, mark it that 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 today is the day of the Lord that he is filling you Filling you, filling you right now with the fresh strength. Yes, the overcomer spirit is rising up. There's a supernatural peace coming upon you right now. Your eyes are being touched. The eyes of your heart are being restored. Your vision. Yes, do not forfeit the vision. Do not abort the baby because things look difficult. Do not... And do not adhere to the lie that these things are too much for you to be able to birth. You are birthing. You are more than close to having the baby. You are more than close. And the groaning and the burdens have, have increased. Have increased. Because you're at the brink. You're at the brink. So I just came on here today to say continue on. Press on. Press on. Press on. Stay connected. Replay the prophecies. Declare and decree. Declare and decree the prophecies. Declare and decree. Even if it's like you've been hitting wall after wall after wall after wall. And even your prayers have gotten tired and decreed. Because nothing has manifested yet. And, and, and your heart. And, and you're trying to pray those same decrees. You're trying to pray those same prophecies. But you, it's almost become redundant, so redundant, so redundant, where it's almost like, how can I continue to, it's almost like you've, you've been a, a, a broken record player for so long, trying to decree, trying to, to, to go in intercession and declare those same words for multiple years on end. But I declare an upgrade over you. I declare, I declare an upgrade over your decree. I declare an upgrade over your remnant DNA. I declare a fire. I declare a fire over your remnant DNA, over your set apart. You've been misunderstood since you were a child. And it's because you were marked. You were marked as the remnant. You were marked and chosen and set apart. No one can understand. Stand your paradigm since you were brought into this earth because you have the mark of the Lord. You have the hand of the Lord upon you. And that weight of the hand of the Lord, the hand of the Almighty has been upon your life. And that rejection has been since you were four years old, three years old because of what you would release into the land, into the city all part of the process it was all part of the process and I just speak and declare and decree over you right now a strength a strength a strength Whew. my god I feel the fire yeah yeah 
We're going to let the anointing right there do what it's going to do. We're going to let that anointing right there. Because there's healing. There's healing. Healing in your deep, 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 deep intricate being. There's healing. There's a washing. A washing. I don't give a lick how many people are on this broadcast. I came for you. I came with an urgency and a burden of the Lord to come on behalf of the remnant, remnant as a leader of the remnant generation. Father, we thank you for the oil upon the remnant sword, upon the remnant armor, upon the remnant shield, upon the chosen generation that will begin to lead and pioneer things in the streets, new endeavors, new assignments that no one else is doing, where no one else could go with them. Lord, we ask you for a boldness upon their voice a boldness upon their yes, a boldness upon their their sent DNA, their sent DNA to begin to start what needs to be started, to begin to, to begin to start the assignment, to begin to let go of the confusion, to begin to let go of the self-doubt, to begin to let go of the burden of, 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 of being unqualified. Lord, we thank you that the Spirit of the Lord that it is not by our might or by our strength, but it is by the Spirit. And that the Spirit of the Lord will begin to birth, will begin to birth, will begin to birth in the remnant, will begin to birth what only the Spirit of the Lord can birth through. Beyond carnality, beyond intellect, beyond self-thinking and self-thoughts. Lord, beyond insecurity, Lord, beyond the war, beyond the pain and the battle fatigue, beyond, beyond, beyond the giant, Lord, we thank you that the spirit of the Lord is beginning to drop in the strategies from the north, the south, the east, and the west, that there would be a holy shaking of anointing, that there would be a holy shaking of anointing that will begin to fall on us with the baptism of fire, that will begin to fall on us with the fresh baptism of fire, that we would connect that we would unite, that we would connect and that we would unite seemingly, Lord, from online streams and media, that you would call us, that you would call us to partner, to collab, Lord, that you would call us to lock arms and lock shields. Somehow you would call us to unite on the telephone with intercessory prayer groups of the remnant, Lord, because we need one another. Lord, that you would call remnant prayer groups to unite on online media strategies, Lord, that you would begin to call us forth and call us out for, 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 to, to a holy, to a holy divine collision that you would call us forth right now, right now to begin to lock shields, Lord, and lock arms for strength and for war, Lord, and fresh fire be released upon these prayer groups. That's what I see in the spirit. My God, that's what I see in the spirit. That's what I see in the spirit. I see remnant prayer groups of the Lord uh, uniting prayer groups, remnant prayer groups of where you will begin to connect with a brother and a sister and, 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 and you will no longer carry your, your, your old friendships. You will no longer be the strength in your old wine friendships, but that there are connections coming alongside you to help fuel you. You will no longer be the remnant carrying old dead relationships, giving them strength and being the pool of drinking water for those friends, but there is a people group. There's other remnants coming upon your life. There are other connections that are coming to fuel your fire. There are other remnant connections coming to fuel your fire. There is an oasis of a group of people where you will go and gather and drink the presence of the Lord. My God, I feel that strong. There's a prophecy and a word for many of you. There is a connection and a people group coming. Well, you will begin to lock arms with them and begin to drink for what you both have to offer. And there will be an explosion of living water. There will be an explosion of new wine. There will be an explosion of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. No longer, no longer will the remnant be sieged in a cave. No longer will the remnant be sieged in isolation. No longer will the remnant besieged in a, in a solitude. But I declare and decree right now that the remnant is gathering, that the remnant is gathering, that the remnant is gathering, and the hot fires and the stings of witchcraft will no longer prevail. 
will no longer prevail. And new strategies to take those giants. New strategies to take those giants right now. Amen. I receive that word. Blue is actually the color of under, uh, understanding, I believe, or, or, or the spirit of under. No, I'm sorry. That's yellow. The 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 spirit of um of might is blue. Is blue. The spirit of might is blue. Also, in in uh, uh, prophetic dreams, it's also the color of revelation. So I just receive that word. Thank you, my God. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. You are a leader in this generation, and you need to understand that your leadership is not being taken from you. You need to understand that your voice is not being taken from you. You need to understand that your vision is not being taken from you. You need to understand that you have all of the tools and your equipment and your tool belt to begin to slay these things that are trying to forfeit your, your mantle and what you're called to do in the earth because you're not just called to a church you're called outside the four walls you're called to a region you're, you you are called to a nation the remnant is not it, it, it does not stay in one place the remnant is mobile the remnant is mobile the remnant will go from city to city to city from nation to nation to nation prophesying the hunger and the presence of the Lord you carry you carry a, a, a revivalist a uh, 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 spirit, a revivalist mantle. Because your call, the remnant is called to revive and awaken and set fire. The remnant is called to revive, awaken, and set fire. What do you think the, the enemy has been after? Your breath, your voice, your fire. Try to suck the breath out of you with the spirit of Leviathan and Python. But we just command that those things are burning in the furnace of the Lord. And they will not prosper. They will not prosper because you are breathing the Ruach. You are breathing the Ruach breath of the, of the Most High God. You are breathing His breath. The living Ruach is on side of you. The living breath of Yeshua is breathing on the inside of you. Nothing can choke the breath of God. You are an alive vessel. The resurrection power is on the inside of you, breathing and brooding. Come on, I feel you getting stronger. I can feel it on this live stream. I can feel the strength beginning to arise. I can feel the strength of you right now beginning to arise, beginning to fill, beginning to fill, beginning to fill. Man, the unity on this live stream is insane. Put your hand on your belly right now. There's a fire. Put your hand on your belly and your eyes. Witchcraft is falling off your eyes right now. Witchcraft is falling off your eyes right now. And there's a fire being imparted to your belly right now. Put your hand on your eyes. Come on, remnant. Put your hand on your eyes right now. The Lord is washing and rinsing your eyes. Oh! Oh! Come on, mothers and fathers, remnant, you are a mother in the spirit. You are a father in the spirit. Come on, dear remnant. Come on, dear remnant. Come on, dear remnant. You are a mother and a father in the spirit. That's why you are a carrier in your womb. That's why you carry a generation. That's why you carry a region. That's why you carry a city. Come on. You are, if you are a man, you are a father. You are a father. You are a father. You are a father. But yet you have a womb. Even the living God, even the living God has a womb. He, he, he has a womb and he has a bosom. He has a breast. And, and, and you have a womb. You have a womb as a man of God. You, you have a womb in your spirit, in your inner man. And I just want to speak to you. You are a father and a carrier. You are a father and you are a carrier. And I want to speak to every woman, every mother, every woman and every mother, every woman and every mother that is mothering a generation through your prayer life, that is mothering a generation throughout your intercession, that is mothering, mother. you've been mothering. You've been mothering nations in your prayer. You've been mothering nations in your agony, in your anguish, but you haven't known it. You haven't known it. Maybe you have, but to the level of degree that you have been mothering and fathering is completely, it's completely unimaginable, unimaginable, 
unimaginable. You've been mothering and you've been fathering all along, but the Lord, the Lord, the Lord has come to mother and father you today. The Lord wants you to know with passion, I can feel his zeal over you. I can feel his zeal over you. He wants to mother and father you today. He wants us to come together in unity as a family, as a family, because the remnant is a family. We understand family. We understand the orphan and the widow. We understand the prodigal. We understand what family looks like. We understand to go into darkness and rip out souls and rip out souls and people and, and, and families from the grip of Satan. We understand that protector. We are a mother and that father that is protecting, protecting the children of the multitudes, the children of the harvest, the children of the harvest. And there's a power, there's an apostolic power over the remnant. And I just speak to you right now that your oil, your oil is being filled. Your oil is being filled. You're being infilled. You're being infilled. You're being encouraged right now with the affirmation of the Lord. Yes, I just speak an increase over dreams and visions right now. An increase over dreams and visions right now. An increase over dreams and visions that you will see and know. See and know. See and know to go. See and know to go. See and know to go. This is the hour of going. This is the hour of going forth. Do not allow something to try to come and stop you. Do not allow that spirit to try to make you sit back and put on the Netflix and sit on the sofa and say, guess I'm just going to relax. No, now more than ever is the time to pursue. Now more than ever is the time to press in, fast and pray. Be diligent in your prayer life and, and pray without ceasing. Be fervent in your prayer. Round up, round up your ammo. Round up the rounds, round up the rounds. Round up your rounds. You need fresh ammo. Fresh ammo. Begin to gather. Begin to gather in the spirit. Begin to gather. Begin to gather. Begin to press into your insight. Begin to press into your clarity. Begin to press into your oil. Begin to press. 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 There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Glory to God. Glory to God. Woo! I just saw a stripping. I saw a stripping. Whatever was fatigued before has been stripped. Has been stripped. Those, 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 woo! Those grave clothes. Those grave clothes have been pulled off. Those grave clothes have been stripped from you. You're not walking in defeat or death, but you're walking in the resurrecting robes of Christ that ascended up on high into the heavenlies. You are wearing the garment of praise. You are wearing the garment of praise. Amen, amen. Glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah. There's the anointing. There's the anointing. There's the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah for the God for the guys and the, and the gals that have been seeing visions of me. Why are you not messaging me these incredible visions? Why did you wait for a broadcast to begin to share these amazing prophetic words to me? Please step out if you have uh, incredible visions of my hair being blue in an airport um, and, 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 and a crown on my head. I just saw those visions that many of you had. Hallelujah. Some of you I, I don't really know that well. But my God, comment on a post and let me know these things that you are sharing. Glory, 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 glory. Don't hold them to yourself. You're seeing them for a purpose in a region. In a region. And a reason, please let me know. Amen, amen, amen. Woo, I just see, I see all of you in the spirit. I can literally see all of you in the spirit where the joy of the Lord has touched you. The joy and the oil of the Lord has touched you. There's just been a refreshing. There's just been a refreshing. There's just been a refreshing and a turnaround. I just see something has pushed through your well. Something has pushed through your well. Something has, has begun to shift it on the inside of your womb. It's, it's almost like what was in the front kind of shifted to the back. 
and, and, and the truth, the truth was revealed. The truth was revealed. The truth was shifted and, and revealed. So I just thank you. I thank you that, that you, Lord, are the truth, the way, and the life. Releasing the truth of the Lord. Releasing the truth of the Lord upon your holy, set-apart, and chosen remnant. Your holy, set-apart, and chosen remnant. Father, we thank you for this revival fire. Whoa. I see the incense of the Lord in the spirit, the incense of the Lord, glory, glory, glory dimensions, whoo, the remnant, whoo, I feel the spirit of prophecy, the remnant is stepping into a new glory dimension, and the contention has been upon the glory dimension, the remnant's coming up higher in ascension, the remnant's coming higher in ascension, because there's a holy, holy, glory dimension. Woo! Push the wall. Push against the wall. Push against the wall. Push against the wall in prayer. Press, 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 because as that wall falls down, there's a supernatural, there's a supernatural dimension. And this, this dimension was the dimension that Enoch, Enoch and Ezekiel, Enoch and Ezekiel uh, 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 lived and dwelled in. This, this, the, this is a glory carrying remnant. We are glory carriers. We are glory carrying remnants. Woo! And as your eye gates shift, as your eye gates shift, as your vision shifts, as your vision shifts, there's a glory dimension. There's a glory dimension being thrusted, being thrusted into you, being thrusted into your life. Ooh. Do you guys feel that release? Ooh, there's the weighty glory. There's the weighty glory. There's the weighty glory. Some of you have been dry. Some of you have been dry with the glory. The remnant needs the glory. The remnant will feel like they are dying without the glory. The remnant will feel like they are dying without the glory. Because your spirit man is attached to the DNA of glory. And because you are a glory carrier, if you are not in the atmosphere of the glory, you feel like you're suffocating. You literally feel like it is a dried up brook. And when you're tired and you can't press into the glory, where do you go for the glory? Because the glory attached to your DNA is only attached to the remnant. It's crucial that the remnant gathers. Because there's a glory in the remnant. There's a tribe in the remnant. A glory inside of your DNA. That you need to access with other remnant runners. Other forerunners, other pioneers. You've got to stay in that glory. So, Father, we just thank you right now for the cross-pollination of the remnant. We thank that you're gathering them, whether that be through phone, media, online streams. Lord, we just thank you that other glory-carrying remnant pioneers are uniting right now. Yeah, we need high-level, high-level, supernatural glory. Because that's... that's we were born into we were born from that cloth we were born we, we were torn from the cloth of glory revelation uh, uh, the heavens miracle signs and wonders and when we, when we were not in that realm something on the inside of us feels lifeless but keep going keep going keep going Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Cultivate the glory. Cultivate your mantle. Cultivate your glory. Cultivate the mantle. Hallelujah, guys. I love you so deep. I love you so deep. No, you're not alone. Know what you feel, the anguish, the pain, the cries in your belly. Know that you're not alone in that. Ultimately, know it's not yours. It's what you're called to you're not crazy and there's a people that are with you that understand you okay so 
You're being touched right now. You're being filled right now. And the glory of the Lord is coming upon you right now to infill you with that glory, to infill you with the promise of His presence, the promise of His Spirit, the promise of, of His compassion and His grace, to be your sufficient strength in your weakness. That's filling you right now. That's filling you right now. It's called Ladder Rain by Sean. Last name starts with the F. Fetch Bethel. Yeah, we release the Ladder Rain. We release the Ladder Rain over the remnant. We release that Ladder Rain over the remnant right now. No more parched dry land. No more parched dry land. That ladder rain is falling on, on you right now. It's falling upon you right now. Right now, right now. Ooh, upon your helmet of salvation. It's raining on your helmet of salvation. I see a tangible iron helmet over your head. And I see where the Lord is raining. He's specifically touching your mind. Refreshing your helmet of salvation. Put your hand on your head for a prophetic act. Put your hand on your head right now for a prophetic act. Some of you need to put your hand on your face. Because the Lord's touching you. And you need to feel touched. You need a touch. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pour it out, oh Lord. Just like you promised. Just like you promised. Just like you promised. Just like you promised. Woo. Woo. There's the Kabad glory. Weighty and heavy. can't get off of that. Wow. <laughs> I so don't care about being silent on this broadcast these last couple of minutes. I just don't. I'm letting the Lord's anointing do what he needs to do over you. I'm just here to let him do what he wants to do. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. His spirit is brooding. His spirit is brooding. His spirit is brooding over you right now. God bless you, people of God. Ooh. Ooh, we need to have a remnant gathering. Would you guys like that in New Orleans? To gather the remnant? A conference for the remnant? I feel the spirit of the Lord on that. <laughs> Whoa. Woo, Pentecost fire. Whoa. Whoa. Ba 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 
hit that finish button. I'm arrested. I know he's arresting you. Thank you, Father, for gathering your remnant. Your holy nation and your royal priesthood. Your set-apart company of burning ones. Your set apart company of burning ones. Thank you for your presence, Yeshua. Thank you for your presence, Yeshua. Wow. Just drink. Just drink right now. The rem you need a drink. This is a pit stop. This is a pit stop for the remnant. Drink. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Father, for touching your people, healing your people. New ideas, new fresh innovation, new encouragement right now. Father, we just thank you right now. We just thank you, Father, right now. Yeah, yeah, Paulette, drenching. Completely drenching. Completely drenching. Powerful, powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your outpouring. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jesus. It's the angel of the Lord, Jasmine. Hallelujah. Whoa. Yes, this anointing is crazy. Thank you, Lord. We're going to just stay here for a moment before we end. We're going to let the Lord finish what he wants to do. Because he's created an atmosphere. He's created an atmosphere of anointing and glory for his remnant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just receive. Total glory train. Total glory train. Woo! Woo! See, you gotta go back and watch that replay. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, was that crazy or what? We went, we went somewhere. We went somewhere today. We went somewhere today, people of God. Yes, yes. I will post the link of this song. It's called um, Ladder Rain by Sean. Fetch. Yeah. Uh, Seattle Sessions, Prophetic Soaking. God bless you. Listen, I love you. And I just, um, yeah, you're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're loved. You're seen. You're heard. And the Lord's just in filling you. Nothing you've done was in vain. Yeah. Amen. I just received that light. Vanessa, thank you. I just feel the joy of the Lord. So much joy. I love you guys deep, okay? Make sure you share this broadcast so that the other remnant around the world gets this. 
I don't want anyone forgotten. I don't want anyone feeling the pressure and the heaviness to this calling alone. Because if you are alone and you aren't feeding your 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 spirit, I mean, there are just some others that just get hit way harder um, than than others. So we need to spread this word to to others out there because we we are a new breed. We are a breed, and this this new breed has has been in. Um, Radical fires, radical, radical pressures, uh, uh, slaying many giants in the land. You know, the warriors on the front line. The warriors on the front line. So, amen, Jasmine. You're wrecking me with these flashes over my head. That's crazy. I receive the angels of the Lord. I actually feel strength in my right hand. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like sh like a strong right hand, if that makes any sense. So I feel like hands are being strengthened. Hands are being strengthened. Hands are being refreshed. Whatever you put your hands to, the anointing on your hands is being refreshed and restored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just receive that in your hands as well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you guys. So yeah, I didn't want anything from you. I just wanted to be obedient to the Lord uh, and just um, just encourage the, the other leaders that are leading this crazy trailblazing path that many don't even know. Many just have no clue. Um, and they're asleep, but it's our job, you know, to blow the trumpet of Zion and awaken them with our voice and awaken them with what we're carrying. Um, but sometimes, you know, what we're carrying needs to be strengthened. So that's why we're here today, okay? So feel free to save this broadcast um, as encouragement. Save it to your phone. Save it to your saved attachments. I'll most likely post it on my YouTube channel. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please make sure you go and do that. That link is right below um, my um, my profile picture, so you can subscribe to that. The Lord's been doing mighty things in that channel. Um, can't even believe. Can't even believe. Um, you know, there's 800 subscribers on there. Uh, it's just crazy. I started with 18. <laughs> And the Lord, the Lord just done amazing things on that. So, um, anyway, subscribe there. Uh, it will post there today. Uh, and, yeah, just be encouraged. And I love you guys. And go forth. Go forth. Go forth and be encouraged. Amen. I will see you guys soon.